But snow hitting the Treasure Valley today and appears to have caught many commuters off guard. By 930 this morning, emergency responders have responded to crashes in Caldwell, Nampa, Meridian and Boise, some totaling up to about dozens, I should say, of car crashes across the Treasure Valley. This is a live look right now at the uh, roadway. This is I-84 near Garrity, and you can see we've got some emergency vehicles out there on the roadway right now, assisting some vehicles that are sliding off. But you can see also that some of that snow is turning over to just kind of wet roadways and not really collecting on some of these heavily traveled areas. And speaking of that, we're going to check in live with Joe Paris, who is live from the road. Joe, what do the conditions look like from where you're sitting? Well, Brian, they're not looking great here on the news at noon. We've seen some slushy, snowy roads all morning long. And as you mentioned, because of that, we're seeing crashes. Right now, we're sitting at a light at Franklin and Curtis in Boise. And here's a look at our dash. You can see that a lot of the snow that was out there earlier because of how much traffic there's been. It's actually been run off the road, but it is deceiving. We're seeing a lot of snowy and icy patches all across the Treasure Valley, not just here in Boise. Earlier today when we were driving on the interstate, we saw similar conditions on I-84 in both directions. You can see though again as we head down Franklin, uh, we're seeing these snowy patches and even if you drive in the lines, you can see the concrete lines there. Uh, it, it is icy. We've seen a lot of slide offs. In fact, the Idaho State Police, they have uh, responded to over three dozen slide offs here across the Treasure Valley. So we're seeing it here on the side roads as well as on the interstate. And we mentioned those crashes uh, to you a bit earlier. I want to show you some video that we took this morning. Uh, we started our trip about 930 in the Boise area. We headed west on I-84 and really just wanted to see what we came across. We came across a rollover accident on Eagle. We came over a, a about five or six slide offs I-84 West near Garrity. And we also came off uh, some other stuff as well on I-84 and Napa going east. So it is very slippery out there here this morning. Uh, we got a lot of questions into our newsroom. I got some questions as well on social media about that rollover on I-84 and Eagle. I actually spoke to the driver. He tells me that he was fine after the crash. He said he was more embarrassed than anything, but it is very slippery out there. Again, ISP telling us on Twitter this afternoon, they responded to over three dozen crashes. And we'll take a live look again at our dash here as we continue to drive down Franklin in Boise. You can see that we are having some decent visibility. It's not like seeing isn't a real problem this morning, but those roads are going to be slick. They are going to be slippery. Even if the snow does stop, we're probably going to have some issues in the evening commute. I know our Larry Gebert will have the future forecast coming up for us in just a minute, but be careful out there because it is very slick and there's a lot of cars sliding around here this afternoon. Afternoon, but one more time out the window, uh, Skiari, you can see there we have a nice safe following distance here. Brian, it's that first big snow of the year in terms of traffic issues, so drivers need to remember drive smart here in the snow. Yeah, it could go south in a hurry as we saw there along the interstate as well. And I just heard the emergency uh, siren behind you, so I'm sure lots of other reports of people kind of sliding off the roadways. It isn't so much the snow falling, but it's the snow on the ground. So let's get a look and we also want to remind you your latest traffic and weather reports can always be found at ktvb.com and on our social media pages but let's go